It's too bad how it all ended up. No one ever thought something like this could happen. It was always going to the stars. The bright future that awaits us. Now all I can do is lie here and think about it all. How long ago did the robots attack? To be honest, I haven't been very good at keeping track of time. But it must have been quite a while ago. At least a few days. How did you end up in the corridor? I was the first one they did in. Lab Tech 42 did it. I went to get some coffee, and it grabbed me by the neck. And snapped it. Right here. Can you tell me anything? How did this all get started? It was quick, unexpected, and very bloody. You're lucky, you know. There are only a few robots here now. The first day, the place was swarming with them. Every corridor had someone screaming, or dying, or both. And where did the robots go? How should I know? All over the facility, I guess. Be mindful of I assume they went through those tunnels. A few of them got stopped or taken out. And I guess the rest are probably still out there, waiting for you. You seem pretty calm about this. Why shouldn't I be? I had my fill of screaming when it all went down. I freaked out, swore, saw terrified, dying people. Funny thing is, what scared them most wasn't the robots that were butchering them. It was seeing me dead and talking. Why do you think that is? Because it's a damn scary thing to be talking to a dead man. Ah, oh, you mean why I'm talking? I've no idea. I'm not even sure I'm happy about it. It doesn't matter anyway. Well, I gotta run. All right, see you. What's this crap? That is a sprout. What's a sprout? Sprouts were designed as highly efficient feed for large livestock. But there's something wrong with this sprout. Killer chicken. Now I've seen it all. Attracting their attention is not advised. Too late.
Attention, all staff members who receive SIN-21 and SIN-22 notices are to report to social control for regular weekly check-ins. Congratulations on your promotion, comrade Zolotukhin. Deputy Director of the Vavilov Complex is a very important position. Right now, our primary goal is to provide the Soviet people with sustenance, which requires great attention. But very, very soon, mankind's first steps into outer space will begin right here as well. As an outstanding botanist, you will be tasked with overseeing the creation of entire systems of plants designed to terraform the surfaces of other worlds. Comrade Sechinov and I had a talk earlier, and we're both delighted that you have joined our team. <laughs> you see, Vic, we do not just want to plant corn on the moon. We want to take a bite of a bigger apple on Mars. I've got a personal request for you, Vic. The Pavlov complex is in the middle of a big polymer study right now, and humdrum though it may seem, they're short of testing sites. Could you do me a favor and put a small department off in a remote wing somewhere? They just need to observe how animals behave in a polymer suit. It's top secret, of course, but just about everything in your complex is top secret, isn't it? Pavlov will start sending you the polymer in vats first. We'll build a pipeline just as soon as the Ministry of Finance approves it. Thank you in advance. Comrade Zalatuchin, my dear colleague, we haven't really had a chance to get acquainted yet, but I assure you, if you attend our theater under my guidance, you'll never forget the name. Oh, the rescue team, finally. You cannot help me, but there are still people alive here. Say, you certainly took your sweet time, didn't you? No, I'm not the rescue team. More like a vanguard. Well, I'll be damned. Plenty of time has passed, but there's still no alarm. No army coming to the rescue. Did you see how all this got started? Can you tell me about it? I don't want to, but I certainly can. The machines didn't attack right away. They sort of spread throughout the facility at first, so they could attack all at once. I suspected something was off the moment the lab tech robots all went into our offices and positioned themselves behind people's backs. Most of my colleagues died right at their workstations. What scared me most wasn't the killing, but the way they slowly walked towards the humans. It was kind of like gym class, when they tell you to split up into pairs. How long ago did you die? I don't remember, but I stayed alive longer than most. The machines couldn't get to where I was since there was no way in. There was shooting, and then hoses started coming out of everywhere. Most people died in the first couple of seconds. Very quickly. The robots either smashed their heads in or snapped their necks, like popping the caps off soda bottles. We took to our heels, but then a lab tech grabbed comrade Afanasiev. There was a soldier around who tried to stop them, but he just had time to say, Oh, that's where I sort of stopped being scared and charged the robot. The last thing I remember is being dead. Um, I'm sorry. We're gonna take those motherfuckers down. You can't blame the machines. Humans did this. Doesn't look like an accident to me. It'd take months to plan something like this. Okay. They'll send someone for you once this is all over. Frankly, it won't make much difference to me. Better make sure this contagion or whatever's wrong with the robots doesn't spread to the other complexes.
Oof, cold. What's with this place? Its purpose is to study how living things can survive in a vacuum. So it's for planting crops on the moon and stuff? Among other things, yes. The research conducted here applies to a wide range of subjects, from primitive single-celled plant life to livestock and other animals. God damn clusterfuck.
Attention. All staff members who receive their notice are to report to social control by end of day. Failure to report will be considered an aggravating circumstance. I don't even want to know. Saving data. Attention, all staff members. It's huge. I've never seen so many planners in one place before. This is where they grow the plants that will be used to terraform the Moon, Mars, and Venus. But right now it's not working for shit. We need to find the control panel. Shit. Nothing but dead bodies. There's a power activation laser relay on the wall. Okay, I can deal with that. But I will never get used to this shit.
There we go. So how do I fill the canister? The canister fills with cryopolymer automatically. Looks like we've got company. I knew there was no way we could just wait patiently for this thing.
experimental results are the physical and or intellectual property of the Communist Party and may not be appropriated. Yeah. 